continuing on and finishing off compound interest, but what we're going to be working on is finding the interest rate in compound interest problems. So, so far we've been given the original amount, how much we're, we're, we're our percentage is, and so on. But this time we're going to find that percentage with information that's given to us. So having a look back, we know that our formula to find compound interest is that your new amount is equal to your principal. Remember, your principal is the original amount um, that you've put in, times by the multiplier to the power of n. Okay. Now, all remember your multiplier, it's 100 plus your percentage divided by 100. So let's have a look at some examples. As I'm going through these, please make sure that you are copying them down as we are going along. So our formula, just to reiterate our formula is new amount is equal to the principal times by your multiplier to the power of n okay now what you what we're trying to find is our is our percentage our interest rate because the question says 600 pounds is invested at x percent compound interest over two years at the end of the two years the value of the account is uh, 661 pounds and 50 pence find the interest rate so Using our formula, we can input our new amount we know is £601.50. Our principal amount, our original amount, was 600 multiplied by our multiplier, which we don't know, value of x, to the power of 2. So now what we have to do is to rearrange this formula so we leave x on its own. So at the moment we've got times by 600 on this side, so we have to divide by 600. And so when we do... Um, 601.5 divided by 600, we get a value of 1.1025. And obviously we divide by 600 on both sides, leaving us with x squared. And our opposite of squared is square root. So we have to square root 1.1025, which gives us a value of 1.05. Now remember, this is our multiplier. And what we need to find is our percentage of our interest rate. Okay, so if we remember to find our multiplier, we do 100 plus our percentage divided by 100, and that equals our multiplier. And we know that our multiplier here is 1.05. So now we have to do the opposite. So at the moment, it's divide by 100. So we've got we have to multiply it by 100 on both sides. So we're left with 100 plus our percentage is equal to 105 and at the moment we've got plus we have to subtract 100 from both sides leaving us with our percentage equaling 5% and that is the final answer. Let's have a look at the next one. So our next one we've got £4,500 is invested at X% percent compound interest over three years. At the end of the three years the value in the account is Five thousand one hundred and five pounds and eighty-two pence, and it's been rounded to two decimal places. Find the interest rate. So, using the same formula, our new amount we know is five thousand one hundred and five pounds and eighty-two pence. Our principal amount was four thousand five hundred. We don't know our percentage, our multiplier, so it's going to be x to the power of three. So, same thing. Do our opposites. So, it's currently times by four thousand five hundred. So, we have to. Divide, do the opposite, divide by 4,500 on both sides. So when we do our 5,105.82 divided by 4,500, we get a value of 1.1346266667 is equal to x cubed. And then what we have to do is we have to do the opposite of cube, which is cube root. So it's just basically your uh, square root symbol but with a 3 on the outside and then your number on the inside. I'm just going to do 1.13 and our dot 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 is equal to, so when we square root our answer, we end up with a value of 1.043. And then there's lots of zeros, so I'm just going to leave it at that. If we were to then obviously use find our percentage, we know that our multiplier is equal to 100 plus our percentage divided by 100, and we know that our multiplier is 1.043. So now we have to do our opposites. So we have to multiply by 100 on both sides. So we end up with 100 plus our percentage is equal to 104.3. 
and then what we have to do is subtract. I'm just going to write it over here. 100 plus our percentage. is equal to 104.3. So we have to now subtract 100 from both sides and we are left with our percentage is equal to 4.3 cents. So that's our uh, compound interest interest rate. Make sure that you've copied down these examples. We're moving on. So our next example, we have 16,000 is invested. 16,000 is invested at X percent compound interest um, over four years. At the end of the four years, the value uh, in the account is £20,009.74, rounded to two decimal places. Find the interest rate. So our new value we know is £20,009.74. Our original value was 16000 multiplied by what we don't know to the power of 4. So same thing we worked out. So first thing we have to do is divide by 16,000 on our, both our sides. So we'll end up with on we end up here with 1.2506 Eight seven five is equal to x to the power of four. Okay, so then we have to root four our decimal one point two two five, and and that will give us a value of one point zero five seven four nine, and it keeps going, but we'll stop there. Putting that into our multiplier, remember that's our multiplier is equal to uh, 1.05749. So therefore our percentage, once we have rearranged our formula, our percentage is going to be, we're going to round it to two decimal places, it will be 5.75%. So that's going to be our interest rate. For the next one, we have 8,000 is invested at X percent compound interest over five years. At the end of five years, uh, the value in the account is 10,455.68, two decimal places, find the interest rate. The exact same thing, you have 10,455.68 is equal to 8,000 times by your multiplier to the power of 5. So you have to divide by 8,000 on both sides. And when you divide by 8,000 on both sides, you end up with a value of 1.30696 is equal to x to the power of 5. And then we have to root 5 our decimal, which is 1.30696. And we end up with a value of 1.05. Four, nine it goes on and we know that that's our multiplier 1.0549 if we round it to two decimal places our percentage will be 5.5 percent make sure that you've copied these examples down as well and moving on please try these two questions Okay, so the answers 